those are the things we are going to be covering but before doing your frequency separation it is very important you do color correction so when blending the skin tones in doing frequency separation it's going to be very very easy let's start right into the tutorial now observe the way the skin is i want to get some place saturated just because the rest parts are saturated some here like here is saturated unlike you can see on a year it's not saturated less saturated and part of the cheek so okay so now we're going to select that but before that let's grab the hue and saturation adjustment and i'm just going to close it now make sure the max is selected go to select and go to color range now under the color range make sure the localized color cluster is not selected now what you want to do is to select the places that are not saturated so i'm going to select this place and hold and shift and you know select more let's select again okay and i'm going to zoom in and select more of those places like that and let's see somewhere beneath the nose and we have that so i'm going to decrease this one and let's go so we're going to click okay now it's going to make a selection on the mask you can hold down alt and click on it so you can see it so now i'm going to zoom in and open up the UN saturation and let's increase the saturation now as we increase the saturation you can see those places are saturated and we introduce other colors unlike before you can see that color places have changed and you can bring it just back and forward to adjust the main one so i'm going to leave it somewhere around let's leave it at plus two and let's see before and after so we've covered up for the color changes you can decrease a little bit to 20 and we are good so we can see we just add added some little saturation if it's not clear you can see all right so now we're going to do the frequency separation so let's create this time visible layer control shift and e and now i'll get rid of this one now this is the layer we're working with for you to do your frequency separation you have to separate the texture and the tone which is still color and you can work on them independently and let's get our head so i'm going to duplicate the layer twice and name this one tone t-o-n-e and name this one name this texture this should be texture and not color so we have the tone and we have the color so this layer is going to carry the tone and this layer is going to carry the texture so turn on the text of the texture select the tone and then we're going to go to filter blow go to caution blow what blow value should you use now when you take the blow when the blow is high the texture is more we have more texture when the blow is low we have lesser texture now when do you use a less blow you use a less blow when you want to blend the skin tone on time meaning when the skin colors and very very rough and uneven you use lesser blow but like this the skin tones is very neat and it's still very easy to for black to blend so you need to take it all the way up so now how do you really know where to put it i'm going to focus here let me turn it back you're going to focus on somewhere like this place that has um different shade okay so i'm going to bring it down a little and now this is how you choose your blow value you take it up till you see that these two is almost the same so i'm going to take it up so somewhere let's say three it's almost the same so i'm going to leave it at three and it's okay so we just took that out to know your blur value turn on the texture layer and go to image apply image and you're going to see that it has less texture you can see okay so but let's choose the tone and then subtract you can see that you hardly barely see the texture just because you choose a lower blow value but when you choose a high blow value you get more texture but why did we use a less blow value is because we already know we have a fine texture and less blemishes but we just want to correct the skin tones so change the blend mode to linear light and they were with our image so now look at what happens as we blend the and the color or the tune so select the tune go to the brush and select the mixer to brush make sure your brush settings is like this ton of sample layer and make sure you select the clean brush and on the drop down clean brush a soft not add brush wet 90 to 14 is okay load 75 90 and 100 okay so now we're going to start blending 
so just open up that and i'll start blending from here and you can see that it immediately blends the two skin together without having much difficulty okay so i'm going to quickly blend all these together Uh, before and then uh, after we haven't even done anything on the skin texture and everything is just looking smooth so that's the idea of using lesser blow the advantage of using lesser blow you just work on the texture and i don't i'm not sure there is any blemishes okay we have little here so we can select the texture go ahead select the clone stamp too and i'm going to hit alt to some point area make sure the opacity is 100 flow 100 and current layer is selected you don't want to choose the all layers and current and below okay so just select hold and alt select an area with smooth skin tones and then go over and paint over those places you Right, so now we are done with the frequency separation so let's see before and after before and after so that's how to do frequency separation and one other thing as a bonus tip is to work on the highlight okay so i would just like to work on the highlights let's create this time visible layer control shift and e and for me to work on the highlight or color grade we we'll just go ahead go to filter and camera raw filter so i'll just quickly go to the basic tab and from the basic tab choose the white balance to select the highs and we have this and also go to the exposure just increase the exposure a little bit and the shadows take the shadows up but if you take it down it creates more contrast so i'm just going to take it a little bit down and then work on the highlights take the highlights up to brighten up the image take the whites up as well to brighten up the image we can have some texture and clarity and we're good with that so sometimes i use the dehaze the dehaze take it let's take it backwards okay let's take it forward then just a little bit plus five make it stand out all right so now we're done with our image you can go ahead with the color grade and go to the saturation let's go to the red increase the red and it's going to show on the leaves okay you can go ahead to the u and take the make it take it backwards to make the effect show go to the saturation back and take the orange forward just plus eight will be fine and i'm going to hit okay and it's going to update the image all right so here we go so i'm going to turn this off and there we go before and after before and after all right guys so thank you guys for watching see you in the next tutorial